Hey, Dennis Tubergen here again with another video market analysis. It is Tuesday, March the 13th. Today I want to share with you the importance of analyzing a market in the appropriate time frame. And what I mean by that is uh, in uh, a lot of the things that I write, I talk about the fact that I think it's a good idea for many investors to consider having 10% or so of their portfolio in physical metals. And there's a number of reasons for that, but uh, a couple of the primary reasons are that number one, I think worldwide we're seeing potentially a race to the bottom as far as currencies are concerned. Uh, devaluation and weak currency policies uh, in an effort to uh, win the trade battle seem to be something that uh, policymakers are embracing once again. Uh, that recently has been exacerbated by uh, talks of tariffs and, and trade wars uh, with certain leadership going so far as to saying that trade wars are easy to win. Um, and then the second thing that you have to look at is the level of debt that exists in the public sector all around the world. And when policymakers have choices on how to deal with excessive debt, they can raise taxes, they can cut spending, or they can print currency. And history teaches us they almost always opt for the latter. So in an effort to show you uh, why it's important to analyze markets in the appropriate time frame, I'm going to look today at an exchange traded fund with the investment objective of tracking the price of gold. Now, if you take a look at the chart on the screen, you see that we have a chart going all the way back uh, almost 10 years. Uh, it's a gold chart over almost 10 years. And you see that I've drawn an uptrend line on the chart starting here in the bottom left in late 2008 and going to the present. Now, the uptrend line is somewhat uh, strong here in that it touches almost three times, but granted, it's, it's a 10-year time frame. So when you look at that 10-year time frame, you'd have to say that gold is, is, is going up. In fact, if you look at 2008 and just take a look at what this exchange-traded fund price was, it was about 70. It's now about 125, so that's an increase of $55 per share on 70. Roughly speaking, that's about an 80% rise uh, in 10 years. So that's a pretty decent rise in gold. Now, if you take a look at a different time frame, which we'll do here, the next time frame I have for you here is from 2011 to the present. And if you take a look at 2011, mid-2011, that's when gold pretty much peaked. And since that time, gold has been pretty much in a downtrend until mid-2017, when you see the downtrend line that I've drawn here from top left to bottom right, was penetrated to the upside, and now you see that gold is bumping up against this uh, almost horizontal support line that I've, I've uh, drawn in here. Now, to look at it over another time frame, here we've got a daily chart of gold. I've got the stochastic oscillator on the bottom of the chart, and this chart starts in late 2016. And notice that I've drawn two parallel blue lines on this chart. And you see that gold prices have been confined to this upward uh, trending price channel. And presently, you see that gold prices are about in the middle of that price channel. Um, and if you take a look at stochastic here at the bottom, you see that gold prices are about uh, in the middle uh, of the stochastic oscillator, which means they're neither overbought nor oversold. So uh, no immediate strong trend as far as gold is concerned. However, if one goes back and takes a look at this long-term upward price trending chart, you'd have to say that gold is still in an uptrend. And that, I think, is the technical um, um, result of some of the fundamental things that I talked about to start with. The last chart I'm going to show you here is a weekly chart of gold on the top and silver on the bottom. Notice that they track each other fairly closely, but gold tends to be holding up a bit better. So often we have people say, hey, should I hold gold in my portfolio or should I hold silver in my portfolio? And the answer to that is probably yes. Uh, gold, however, appears to be holding up a bit better. And that's where I differ a bit from some of those who say that gold is going to decline in value. I think that the reason there's a difference of opinion there is simply how gold is viewed. I think one of the reasons that gold is holding up better here versus silver is that gold is going to primarily be viewed as an alternate currency 
silver is going to be viewed more as a commodity as it has a lot of industrial uses. If you take a look at some of the new cryptocurrencies being developed, many of them are gold-backed. None of them, to my knowledge, are silver-backed. And that just shows you that gold has historically been uh, the preferred money, if you will. So that is today's market analysis. I'm Dennis Tubergen, and it is March 13, 2018.